hi friends in this video I will teach you about the Python booleans how can we use them and uh, where are booleans are used so here first see a uh, booleans represent one of two values true or false when you compare two values then expression is evaluated and Python returns the boolean answer so here there are two comparisons uh, this is one value and this is second value so I want to uh, compare these two values each other that uh, I want to know that 10 is a greater greater than 9 or not so here print and 10 is greater than 9 and second statement 10 equals to equals to 9 and third statement 10 less than 9 so let's see I have run it okay see here the first statement is true 10 is greater than 9 definitely 10 is greater than 9 and 10 is not equal to equal to 9 see here and uh, uh, 10 is less than 9 so definitely you can see it 10 is not less than 9 so this is this was the one example of a boolean expressions so here we are going to another when you when you run a condition in a if a statement python returns the true or false so here i have initialized a 200 in a variable and 33 in b variable so if I compare two values that with if condition if b greater than a print b is greater than b it means that if b greater than a then print b is greater than a so if b is greater than a then this statement will print otherwise else print b is not greater than a because b has 33 value and it's less than value of a 200 because this value print what we will say okay see here b is not greater than a because b is 33 see here value a value is you can see there 200 so b is not greater than a it means that 33 is not greater than 200 so definitely this this statement will print and third example now evaluate values and variables so the boolean functions allows you to evaluate any value and give you true or false in return so now just i have uh, written this statement in simply a print bool this is a, a boolean so now i want to check that is it true or not just uh, i'm not comparing here but I want to uh, check the is this a uh, true or not see here you can see both are true because this is also value and this is also value in this statement just a boolean check the value is it value or not so same as a test this is uh, here just I have given these stat statements in print function here I have given separated x is equal to hello y is equal to 15 so here print bool x and y so now if I run it it will check the statement both are true so just like you can simply check them so most values are true almost any value is evaluated to true if it is it has some sort of content any string is true except empty string just like this you can see this is a string a any number is true except zero so this is number see here any list tuple set and dictionary are true except empty ones so he see here this is a string and this is number this is a and list you can see here if I run it all the values are true because every boolean has a correct value they are not empty that's why we are getting the result in true so some in other example some values are false in fact there are not here some values are false in fact there are not many values that evaluate to false except empty values such as these are the false statements here so the number zero is also false and the value none and of course the value false evaluates to 
the false. So here, these are the all values are false. So if I run it, see, the, all the values false because Boolean has not an a value because you can see that false, false, and all the empties. If you have empty values in false, if you have empty value in the boolean, just you will get the result of false. So definitely you have to uh, give the values for the taking input to you, just like this. See here. And in this statement, you can see all the values are true. Here, all the values are true because there are, uh, there are some values. See here, numbers. And these are this is the string values and tuples and uh, list. These they have a personal values, but here in this statement you can see there is no value. That's why I am getting a false value. So I hope so. You have learned. I hope so. You have learned about the booleans, how to use them, and uh, this was about the conditions and. Uh, a boolean's value so i hope so that you have understood all the things if you have any questions so please comment and you can ask me and there is a my personal contact number in the description you can go through it and uh, thanks for watching thank you